Okay, so I know earlier I said I couldn't figure out why the uh, M76 gas piston had a uh, cross-drilled port and the uh, center drilled on the gas piston head. Uh, now that I've actually drilled the PSL one and I'm kind of comparing them and inserting it into the gas block to see, I think I now see why and I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't realize it to begin with. But so here's the M76 gas piston, or uh, gas block, excuse me. And so it works just like a, any other gas block. The gas piston fits inside the head, and then a uh, gun is fired, gases behind the bullet, enter in through the gas block, press on the gas piston face, which presses the piston out and causes the gun to cycle. Spring pressure then brings it back forward, and the gas tube, gas tube, since it's not actually a gas, doesn't control the gas in any way. The gas tube is essentially just a piston guide, guides the piston back into the gas block. So, typically on a AKM or AK-74, or the PSL, or anything like that, even the SVD. I, well, actually, I'm not gonna say the SVD. I'm not 100% certain on that right now. But for the AK, AKM, AK-74, uh, PSL, RPK, things like that, the gas port is forward. So either uh, in the case of the AK-74, RPK-74, and things like that, it's at a 90 degree uh, angle, goes up 90 degrees, and then acts on the face of the piston directly. Uh, in the case of AK-47, AKM, it comes in at a 45 degree angle. So gas comes up and acts directly onto the face of the piston. In the case of the M76 gas block though, the gas port is all the way back here. I don't know if you can see that there with this lighting. There we go. The gas port's all the way back here. So the piston sits ahead of the gas port on the M76 uh, gas block. So the gas port's here and the, M7, the piston head sits all the way up here. So what, it, what the holes in this piston are for, at least from my understanding, and I may be wrong, but I don't see any other reason why. Rounds fired, bullet passed through the barrel, gas is behind the bullet enter in through the gas port here, right here in the middle, which then enter in through one of these individual ports here on the gas uh, plug, so which is adjustable, so depending on what setting you have it on. And then from there, it goes around the piston, enters in through one of these side, uh, side clearance holes, cross drill, enter pass through the front and then that gas makes pressure between the front and back so as i was saying gas comes in back here on the piston uh goes around enters in through these ports here out the front port or the front hole in the piston forward into the gas block and that pushes it back well I guess not the gas block the gas piston cup the piston cup itself because the gas block has a hole in the front where the excess excess gas can escape so all the gas needed to enter the system comes in through one of the ports in the gas cup any excess uh, moves around the gas, uh, doesn't en any excess does not enter the gas cup itself, but passes around it because there's space in between it, enters out the hole in the front of the gas port, or in the gas block, getting all my terms confused here, what th the amount of gas that did enter into the gas cup itself, the regulator, passes around the piston, enters in through these holes, passes out through the front of the piston head, which exerts pressure onto the uh, front of the piston cup and uh, causes the piston to move rearward. So again, I'm not 100% that that's what it is, but I really can't see 
what else those holes purpose are except for that so anyway just thought i would point that out uh, i'm sure many of you already knew that that that's how it worked or you had an inkling that's how it worked i have been looking at these parts for days weeks now gosh probably even more than that and it just now dawned on me so uh just amazing what you figure out when you just start playing and plugging pieces together to see how they work but so that's the purpose of that so i would think now that we did that to the psl gas piston and again my camera okay gas piston it should do the same purpose because once inserted the psl piston will definitely be past that port well not past but even if i were to push it all the way in it's still occluding that port so i would think that it's going to um focus I would think that that's still that's going to work fine. Although the only thing I'm noticing that may be an issue is if I push it all the way in, the port stops right here on this thickest part of the piston head where there isn't a ring for gas to pass through it. But I can't I can't really see that being an issue. It's not such a tight seal. I mean, you can hear it it's not such a tight seal that it's going to keep all the gas from coming out but like i said we'll find out when it actually comes time to shoot maybe when i press the gas block i'll press it so that it it's about here instead of all the way in press it about here that way it is hitting those rings and since i drilled it in the very rearward ring it's going to gas right into that from the get-go and press so i may actually do that instead press it on to that point to where the gas port is onto the hole in the regulator itself so uh, we'll see when we get there okay so we've got the barrel now we're going to do the uh, gas system uh, drilling the gas port and everything uh, so what I've done is I've put down some uh, dicum on the barrel here in between where around where the gas block will be and then took the gas block itself uh, slid it on to where it lined up and it was in the right uh, area with the gas tube uh, the the di set distance when the gas tubes installed into the rear sight block uh, pressed it on and then through the little window here on the bottom where the gas port is took a carbide scribe and just uh, scribed a little circle in there and kind of just like coloring in the circle that it leaves and then pulled it off and so now hopefully you can see that you can see the spot there so what I'll do is then from that spot go 90 degrees to the top of the barrel and which is where the gas port should be drilled um, I haven't completely decided yet on what size I'm going to drill the gas port. I may just go the uh, exact diameter of this hole since it is uh, adjustable in the regulator. Uh, so I'll probably I'll probably do that actually. Now I'll just do, figure out the size of this hole, drill that size. Uh, if I need to go bigger, I always can. If I if I'm getting too much gas in all settings, I can use the uh, regulator itself and close up these holes and drill new ones or just make a new regulator uh, but it should be it should work fine I would imagine since the size of this here it should at least be this uh, this size of a gas port in the original M76 and I would think that the powder differences shouldn't be too different between a uh, 8 millimeter and 762 by 54R but we're going to find out. So, like I said, go in. I'm going to scribe a line exactly 90 degrees from this point to the t make top. Make sure it is uh, straight on the top. Drill. I'll uh, countersink it to make up for just a little bit of misalignment. And then we will press on the gas block and we will pin it. And then that should be it for the gas system, really. Uh, then after that we'll install the 
muzzle device, which I have decided I'm just going to stick with the uncut uh, M76 flash hider. So I still will show cutting down and threading the, my other one. And I'll keep that other one on hand in case I ever decide I want to change over for some reason. Uh, but So once we do all that, we can press on to uh, finishing up the receiver, getting everything uh, riveted in. And hopefully here really soon, uh, at least hopefully by the end of by the end of July, to uh, have this thing fully functional and shooting, and we'll get video of that as well. So uh, I'll see you at the drill press. Okay, I've got the barrel uh, back in the drill press. Uh, I put some die cam on the top, like I did on the bottom, and continued that mark around all the way to the top here and scribed a line. Uh, I don't know the exact top yet doing that, but before we get to that, uh, I mounted it back into the drill press vise with the uh, precision block, and I've taken a magnetic uh, level and placed it on the barrel uh, here so I can see that it's level uh, front from front to back. And then I've taken it and put it on to the rear sight block ears to make sure that it's uh, level uh, side to side. And it looks like I need to move it just a smidge here. So... Okay. So now we're good side to side. And we are good top and up and down. Okay? Double check one more time. Okay, good. So, get this light back over here. Okay? So now that we got it leveled in the vise and tightened down, I'm going to use this... Uh, top dead center tool which is just a piece of aluminum with a V milled out on the bottom and a bubble level in the top uh, this little screw on the side is for holding a uh, rod so you can get the exact length you want but I don't need it in this case because I have my, my mark right here uh, you can get this from Brownells it, it's not very expensive from what I remember I've had it for quite a while but, so to use this, since we know this is all level in here, place it on the top, over, oh, look here, Whoop. make sure it's over our mark that we scribed on the barrel, and then move it left to right until it's centered within the level. Then it has this really sharp point that goes into the top. Again, make sure it's level. And then we're just going to take a hammer and smack it. Okay, so now, let me see if you can put this in here. Now we have a mark that's top dead center. And I always like to just look down the site to make sure that it is, in fact, all still level. And it looks really good. So now we're going, now we have a spot here to start drilling. And we're using the same carbide drill that we use for the gas piston. Uh, I found a piece of uh, information from uh, user AK Blue. I don't know if you uh, know him or if you've read any of his stuff on the AK files or AK form and things like that. The guy's basically a walking encyclopedia of AK information. And he, I found an old post of his where he built a shortened... Uh, M76, I believe, and he said that the original gas port size for an M76 
is uh, 85 thousandths. And that just so happens to be the same size as the drill bit we use for the gas piston. So I'm going to reuse that same cobalt bit to drill the gas port. And as I said before, if it's too small, we can always press it off and drill it larger. Uh, another trick that I'll uh, pass on here, at least that, that I use constantly, is you can either mark the bit to see how deep you need to go and where to stop like with a piece of tape, or you can take a, a cleaning rod like this, a long one. Prefer I use this one a lot because it, it makes a lot of noise. Uh, take this and slide it into the bore of the barrel so when you break through and if you go a little too far you're going to hit this instead and it's going to rattle it and you're going to hear hear it that uh hear the gas tube or the cleaning rod rattling and that'll tell you that you've gone too far you can even see here well probably not but uh on mine here i've, I've got a couple marks from where that's happened uh, this works really well on a drilling 45 degree gas blocks for uh, AKMs because for some reason going th when you break through that it's not easy to tell going at the 45 degree angle and I have no idea why and I have ruined a barrel before where I've gone th through too far and drilled into the other side of the barrel uh, I didn't puncture all the way through but I made a pretty good dip inside the other side uh, other end of the barrel it wouldn't really affect anything, but it was one of those things where I'm not going to, I just didn't want to accept that. And so I uh, just junked the barrel. I think I ended up using it for making jigs or something. So take the cleaning rod into the bore. We have our mark. We'll get it lined up. Apparently, I forgot to tighten the chuck, and now I can't find my chuck key. Okay, got the hole drilled. Now, we're going to go in and uh, put a chamfer on this hole with a center drill. because the, the uh, chamfer on a gas port hole will allow the gas block to cant slightly just in case. I mean, you, the setup I have, there's no way I'm going to have a perfectly uh, centered everything. So this will just help with that. Ooh. Apparently uh, that didn't want to work as well, not being locked down to the table, but that's all right. Oh, that's why. This is my high-speed steel one. These things are probably dull as all get out. I really need to mark these in some way because they look exactly the same as my carbides, but... Or I can just stop being lazy and actually read them before I use them. But it doesn't matter. It did its job. Yeah, the whole the countersink looks fine. So uh, now that we have that, we can press the gas block and pin it in place. So I'll do that. <laughs> 